Hi, everyone. My name is Jordan DeBerke. I am with Ball State University. I'm the new St. Louis representative for Ball State. Very excited. We just installed our 17th president this year, Jeffrey Mearns. We're excited to see how he takes um, campus and impacts us for the next 100 years. We will be celebrating our centennial in 2018. Um, some updates on scholarships are really our big thing this year. Um, MSEP, which has impacted a lot of our St. Louis schools, the GPA requirement is now a 3.3, not a 3.0. But that being said, we are introducing five new merit-based scholarships instead of the two for the St. Louis area. So those are for all of our out-of-state students. When they apply for admission, they will automatically be considered for five merit-based scholarships. And all of those will actually give them more money towards tuition than MSEP will provide. And the baseline to be considered for those is a 3.0. So just like MSEP was last year. So this is a great transition for us. We're also excited because we just, we just broke ground on our new science and health building, which is a multi-million dollar project, and that'll be open in 2019. We also are opening new residence halls and renovating them. Our oldest residence hall on campus, La Follette, is coming down slowly and a new dining facility and other residence halls will be going up in its place. We're also very excited because we just welcomed our second largest class in Ball State history with just over 4,000 students. We were three shy of breaking the record, um, but we're hoping to maybe do that next year. That being said, we are still operating at a 19 um, average class size for students, despite the fact that we do have 22,000 students on our campus. And our CAP program, which is College of Architecture and Planning, is also reintroducing the five-year architecture certification, which is a very popular major on, pro on campus. So this is a great option for students who are considering that program. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by at my table and I'd be happy to talk with you. Thanks.